Do you want to know the best solution out there to keep track of your entire crypto portfolio that also allows you to generate reports for your yearly tax filings? Well, then this is the video you've been looking for because I've spent weeks trying to get all my crypto transactions for the last five plus years organized using services like Accointing, Cointracker, Cointracking, Crypto.com, Tax, Coinly and so on. And I'm going to share the best one with you in this video. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and while I spent the last couple of years in a country that doesn't have any tax on cryptocurrencies, I recently relocated to Germany and was confronted with the incredible challenge of properly documenting all my crypto transactions to be able to file my taxes here in the future. Considering that my transaction history export from high.com alone for the last 12 month period is a 70 megabyte big CSV file containing a little bit more than 400,000 rows in total, you can imagine what kind of effort that has cost. To get this done, I've tested different services on the market just to get frustrated every time I notice just how many exchanges and platforms most of these services simply don't integrate with and would require me to either manually add every transaction or get exports from those platforms and then manually modify them to get them into the right format. Additionally, I also had to find out that even some of the tier one exchanges, like for example, Binance, only allow exports for a limited amount of time, making it in some cases next to impossible to collect all the past data, which is why I strongly recommend you to start organizing your transactions from day one, even if right now crypto isn't regulated in your country. It's definitely much less effort to just update your holdings once per month or maybe weekly compared to trying to organize the data for one or more years all at once when you can't even get all the transaction histories anymore from some of the exchanges. For me personally it got so bad that at some point I even considered using two or more of these services parallel to then just pay our CPA to combine the exports properly but luckily enough I didn't have to go that far because I finally discovered and tried Coinly. Among the platforms I tested, which are by the way all linked in the description down below, it was the clear winner by a huge margin for three simple reasons. First, Coinly is free and you only have to pay for the services if you want to download the yearly tax reports, in which case their fee depends on the number of transactions you had in the tax year you need the report for, or if you have more than 10,000 transactions in total in your account, but you still want them to show you up to date portfolio and gain data. At the time of recording this video, the costs to get your crypto tax report for one year start at $39, but since their pricing might change in the future, I'd recommend to check out the link in the description below to see for yourself. Second, Coinly integrates with almost every exchange and blockchain you can think of, where many of the competitors that I tested would require me, as mentioned, to manually request, format, and upload the histories from most exchanges. Coinly offers API integrations for almost everything, making it just so much easier to keep track of all your transactions. And reason number three, Coinly has a well-maintained feedback system that allows users to submit feature requests to, for example, get them to add support for a new exchange or blockchain. The more users vote for one suggestion, the more likely and faster Coinly actually integrates it, making sure that if there is a new project like, for example, Pi Network or IDENA, the community can get the Coinly team to implement it fast enough. Obviously, there is no perfect system out there and Coinly also has its flaws and room for improvement, but among all the platforms out there, I have yet to see a solution that's overall better. And besides their web app, Coinly also offers mobile applications for iOS and Android that are currently in testing. So at the time of recording this video, you would need, for example, test flight on iOS to be able to use the latest version of Coinly's mobile app but I'm sure that it won't take that long anymore until the mobile apps are available to everyone as well. I could go on and on about the things I like about Coinly after trying so many of their competitors personally, but I guess you'll get the idea. If you aren't using a platform like Coinly yet, I would recommend you start today so that if or better when you eventually need to file taxes on your crypto transactions, you already have everything in place. 
And even if that never happens, you at least have one nice looking app that provides you with an up-to-date summary of all your holdings and transactions. If you're participating in projects like IDENA or Pi Network, don't forget to also vote for the feature request so Coinly soon adds support for those blockchains as well. And as mentioned, you can find links to Coinly and the other applications I tried myself down in the description below. You should definitely get this done rather sooner than later if you used exchanges in the past, since some of them, as mentioned, only allow exports and synchronization for a limited time, meaning that if you wait too long, you might not be able to actually get the transaction history you need at all anymore. Besides that, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to also leave them in the comments down below, or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our Discord community and discuss Coinly and other cryptocurrency related projects with me and the community there. Thanks for watching, see you in one of my other videos, till then, bye bye.